Once you have ground and polished your specimen surface, you may need to etch it in order to see the microstructure. When you're etching, please wear a fluid-resistant lab coat, safety glasses, and a pair of gloves. You may need to read the MSDS or the material safety data sheet for the chemicals you are using in order to find out what the proper gloves are. There are solvents kept in this cabinet. Acidic etchants should be kept in this cabinet and basic etchants over here. You should label your etchant with your name, the date that it was prepared, the chemical composition, and the date after which it can be disposed of. You should do the etching in this hood with the light on so that you can see and the air on. But I'll leave the air off so that you can hear me. When you're etching your sample, you put the etchant on your sample surface and you can use a cotton swab to spread it out. And since there is no sink in this fume hood, you can rinse off your sample into this container. This is full of tap water. If you need the ionized water, you need to bring that. Once you have finished etching your specimen, you need to dispose of the waste effluent in an appropriate manner. If you're unsure what this is, please call the Hazardous Waste Office at extension 5842. If, you are, if the waste effluent is nitol, for example, you can pour baking soda into the nitol and it will bubble. And when the bubbling stops, you know that the acid has been neutralized and you can pour it down the drain with plenty of water in another room. If your waste effluent, however, is hazardous, and you can't pour it down the drain, you should put it in a waste container with a hazardous waste tag filled out. To dry off your wet sample, you can use the house air if the sample surface doesn't need to be pristine because the house air is a little bit wet and dirty. If you are preparing a, an AFM, SEM, or TEM sample, you should use canned air to dry off your sample. Once you're finished, be sure to not forget to rinse out the waste effluent container and to throw away any Q-tips you have used. If you are leaving the room, please take off your gloves and your lab coat so that you don't contaminate doorknobs or equipment in other rooms.